I grew up in Connecticut, an ultra-Orthodox Jewish community. So you can imagine the surprise to my parents when I came back to them and telling them that I want to be an actor, I want to get into the entertainment world. They were a bit surprised. So my parents tried to sway me to focus on the traditional route in which all my friends were doing. So after I turned 13 years old, my parents sent me off to Yeshiva. Yeshiva is a, is a high school, a pretty much, a system where one will study to become a rabbi. So there were no secular studies, there wasn't any gym time or the arts, which I would have loved because I loved acting as a kid. In a world of black and white, I felt like I needed some more color. I definitely had a hard time during that period of my life. I fell into a bit of a, a, a sadness, into a depression. I felt um, that I wasn't learning anything, I wasn't growing, I didn't feel like I was in the, in the right place. This, this, this was not the way I, I should be feeling and I know it was something I didn't ever wanted to feel again and, and, and not, didn't want other people to feel as well. Those were some dark times, but I'm grateful for those moments because it gave me the perspective and changed my way of thinking to know like, okay, this is not where I want to be, this is not where I want to go, I don't want other people to feel this way. Let's get out of here and build a world of positivity and happiness. So the last chapter in the yeshiva system, we become ordained rabbis. I went to Singapore for two years to rabbinical school to study to become a rabbi. It was an amazing experience. Um, and after which, most of my friends went back to the States uh, where they would go on to uh, the traditional life, get a job, get married, and have kids. I was like, I don't know if that's for me. <laughs> so instead of going back with my friends, I decided to pack my bags in one little backpack and travel Asia. I learned so many things. One of which I realized in conversation, oh, talking about you know, what were my plans were when I was gonna go back home, I always brought up the idea of going back and making videos and spreading positive messages through videos, through that medium. And then it suddenly dawned on me realizing like, wait a second, if I'm always talking about this, then why don't I just do this when I go back home? So once I decided that I wanted to make videos and this is what I wanted to do for now, I went full force. I knew when someone watched my video, I wanted them to smile. I wanted them to feel good. So we filmed High Five New York and we posted it on YouTube. Next day I wake up and in my inbox I have emails from different news outlets asking me to come in to be interviewed and it seemed like the world was thirsty for this type of content. Video after video, my community was growing, the audience was growing as well and I was finding my voice. I look back at the chapters of my life and I see that throughout wherever I was, wherever I found myself, I always was trying to, to be the most authentic person that I can be. So um, as I can always say, stay positive, be happy. I'm Mayor K. Have a great day.